Number five tonight is Bethel Gonzalez. We got a bachelor's degree in philosophy and art history from UT Austin, and in 2004, he returned to his hometown of San Antonio after going off to Los Angeles as a print and web designer for five years again, like the New Yorker come home, it's about time to recognize. His work embraces maximalism, the mixing of languages and popular culture, expressed in metaphors of overlays and juxtapositions. Each new approach deals with media and experience while working to be as relevant and interesting as the culture he wishes to comment on. Please welcome Beto! Just one peek down the street reveals the visual density that you don't find in branded test market and chain stores and parking lots in more affluent neighborhoods. This comes not from a tradition of clean, modern design, but a tradition of maximalism, a visual exuberance. Here are 12 different fonts in this mirror. <laughs> There's been a recent explosion of taco trucks in the United States. They move beyond their origins here, providing lunch for mostly Mexican construction workers into the mainstream. Along with the truck comes the same impulse of customization and modification of pride and personal expression in their business. Take what you've been given and modify it to fit your own needs. A fail fast food restaurant is up for sale. You buy it, hand it your own colors, and sell your type of food in it. Customize it so it's not a cookie cutter chain restaurant, but make it your own. Here's a Pizza Hut, a Kentucky Fried Chicken, a GW Cheers, and even a Taco Bell that are often modified into Mexican restaurants. These are the creativity and expressiveness that's in the community we have started Adelante Arte, a community based organization with an interdisciplinary approach to learning that incorporates fine art, dancing, puppetry, and music. It taps into community resources and organizes and foster learning through personal expression. Studies have shown that education in the arts is, is critical to the healthy development of your minds. With an explosion of these arts, 20% 20, 20 less likely to steal a car, 35% less likely to get pregnant, that's both boys and girls, and 35% more likely to enjoy the music of the Smiths. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the soft 
all the same. All these security issues will be addressed for next year. This is an at-risk group of youth from Floresville. With few, op few options to those in vocational life and the poor economy, Adela Antarctica has worked with these youths to teach them about minimal list art. <laughs> these kids built this white field in just eight weeks, learning lessons in construction, working together in distillation of form. <laughs> this is Michael Chapa, a recent graduate of Florida, Adela Antarctica in sculpture and emerging sawdust artist. He was accepted to a very expensive art, West Coast art school and has been included in several group shows in the Pacific Northwest. We are very proud of him. <laughs> Along with math, writing, conceptual art is a cornerstone to learning. Learning drawings like the one made by artist Solid Wit require a single pencil, resulting in savings for our limited resources. <laughs> Using 17 number two pencils, Brianna Sanchez filled her classroom up with conceptual art. <laughs>